my name is Trevor Tendai and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making Tef porridge, which is this right here. And this is Tef right there. So for this recipe you're going to need a handful of walnuts, coconut sugar, sesame seeds, dates, raspberries, blueberries. And if you are, um, if you've got nut allergies, I suggest you use hemp milk, which would be the best option, or you can go for coconut milk. Now, the one, one of the reasons why I like teff is because it's gluten-free, so if you suffer from celiac disease, then this would be ideal for you. Also, one of the most most um, important things is that it's got no known allergens. So if you, if you suffer from allergies and you, you want to have something that's safe to have, I'd suggest you try teff. It smells amazing, it tastes amazing, and let's just get into it. I'll show you exactly what it is that you need to do for this recipe. Add the dates, the walnuts, the uh, coconut sugar, and a little bit of the sesame seeds. So I say add about half of the sesame seeds to this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add. So what you want to do is when you're making um, teff porridge, you want to add one cup of teff to three cups of water. So a majority of the water that I've got here is three cups and most of it is going into here. Just to blend it and make the milk that we're gonna use for our recipe. Let's blend this. So please forgive me, I forgot one very important ingredient. So that ingredient is sea moss. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sea moss to this. Awesome. So in here, I've got the, the walnuts, the dates, the sesame seeds, the sea moss, and the water. And I've blended that. I've added it with some of the water that was left over because I've used um, one and a half cups and I've um, one and a half cups of water left. I've kept half a cup of water, which I'm gonna mix with the teff, which has been grounded so that it's cold and then I mix it so that it doesn't have lumps when I put it into the hot boiling mixture. I'm gonna be using two pans for this. So one pan to heat this and bring it to the boil and the other pan is gonna have the teff with the cold water already mixed together and I'm gonna pour the hot, hot stuff over it and then mix it so that we don't get any lumps. Sweet. Let's just wait for that to come to the boil. Okay, so now this has come to the boil. nice and frothy and creamy this is going to transfer to our teff this is what we want okay move this across put this on here this is what we're going to be making our porridge in so from here we want to add the teff one cup of it we want to add the water which is cold and just mix. By doing this, it means that we don't get lumps when we add the teff to our hot mix. Oh my God, this smells absolutely divine. Oh my God. Right, so now I'm gonna pour the milk into this and do that slowly while I'm stirring. Oh, that's hot. Hang on, let's do this without spilling anything. So. I'm pouring and stirring at the same time. Stir, 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 stir. It's going really thick really quickly. I'm glad I did the water thing because otherwise it would have um, would have gone turned into lumps. So it's not very lumpy, it's actually perfect. That's what I want right there. See it there? That's beautiful. Turn the heat up. smells amazing. So here, let's go like that so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So keep stirring it. Right now you see why you need three parts. This is very thick. Oh it's almost going lumpy. That's why I wasn't stirring it. That's what I mean you see. It can go lumpy very quickly. These will dissolve as it quick. I'm not 
not worried about those lumps because I had moisture in them already so they will break down as it cooks so now that you've got it to this stage all you need to do is cook for a further um, once it starts bubbling bring the heat down to a very low heat so at the moment I've got a sort of medium to high heat just to um, get it going and then I'm going to turn the heat down once it starts um, bubbling and then uh, I'm going to leave it to simmer um, and yeah leave it to simmer for 15 minutes and then it will be ready to serve let's get some heat into this there we go it's bubbling see the lumps are almost gone so don't be worried don't be worried if you get lumps once you put moisture in it if you had no moisture in it, it's very difficult to get the lumps to go but because there's already moisture in this it's easy to get the lumps out so here we go turn the heat down it smells out of this world it smells so good right, cover that and let it simmer just put that there Breeze and some blueberries. That's it. That's the Tef porridge. So I've just finished having the uh, Tef porridge and I feel absolutely amazing. I feel energized. The sea moss, the the the, the teff itself. Um, I can feel the, my body just accepting it, um, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to just have this little uh, bit at the end. Um, the last few weeks, I've been working a lot. I've been cycling a lot, uh, but I haven't been doing the things that I needed to be doing in terms of having my my my, my herbs, cooking and eating clean. Um, I've been doing a lot of convenient stuff like not taking packed lunch into work so going and buying food while I'm out at work uh, and then when I'm coming in I'm coming in late so I'm not actually really cooking I'm then like ordering GBK the, the, the vegan option or uh, vegan pizza or whatever it is um, and the good thing about our bodies is they give us signs or warning signs to say yo what you're doing does not agree with you you need to stop luckily for me it's just cosmetic I I, I, I break out in spots and stuff like that so because um, I started breaking out in spots I was like yo you need to put brakes on this and, and, and um, go back to doing what you're supposed to be doing so taking packed lunch into work making sure that I cook every day making sure that I have my herbs every day so that's my elderberry first thing in the morning um, my burdock and sarsaparilla teas um, coriander teas uh, parsley tea uh, wormwood tea so I'm, I'm sort of turning the clock back and saying yo let's go back to um, using the herbs which are the healing of our nation Socrates was curing every disease known to man using herbs and he said it let thy food be thy medicine let thy medicine be thy food so if you've got allergens 
that is a sign to tell you you are deficient in something. So you need to start putting into your body stuff that will make sure that your body does not react to foods that you're supposed to be eating and getting goodness from. Um, not all foods you're supposed to be eating and not all foods you get goodness from. Let's just make that absolutely clear. So if you're deficient in something and you're, you've got loads of allergens and you're celiac and you're this, you're that, maybe it's time to introduce things like CMOS and burdock root into your life. Maybe it's time to start, start taking elderberry. Maybe it's time to detox. Maybe it's time to cleanse. Cleanse, put the nutrients back into your body and see if you still react to those foods. If you've got nut allergies, maybe it's time to cleanse. Maybe it's time to change what it is that you're doing. If, you, if you've got an allergy and you still, you're still eating animal products, you're still having cheese, you're still having dairy, you're still having fish, can't help you. If you're not willing to change anything about your life to better your health, there's only one end result and it's it's dismal ends up with you in the ground so maybe it's time to stop and take stock and say look I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice this for my health think about that if you like this video please hit the like button share it across all your networks please um, if you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit the notification so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.